YouTube, what's up? It's the boss Ella. Hello to my new subscribers and hello to my old subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right, so I'm here today to do a wig review and the wig that I'll be reviewing is a wig that I purchased, Human Hair Bump Wig by Sensational. All right, this is a Fab Fringe and this is color number 1B and this is what it looks like straight out of the package. All right, a lot of these wigs I saw online or from different companies have like a different type of hair in the front. Some are longer than others, some are shorter than others. Uh, this is the way this looks. This has a comb in the nape area and no combs in the front of the wig. It has ear tabs. All right. It is tapered in the back and on the sides. So let's try her on. It is a wig with a snug cap. So you definitely want to try to braid your hair down as close to your scalp as you possibly, possibly can so that your wig lays flat in the back. Let me show you the other side. This is a very versatile wig that right out of the bag, you could wear it just like that without doing anything to it. I'm going to place the comb for the sake of this video, but in wearing metal combs, you want to be aware that they I could make your hair thinner in the area that you use them in. All right. Okay, so this is the wig without doing anything to her. And as you can see, she's pretty long in the front. And I've had a wig like this before in color number one. And color number one seemed to be a lot thicker than this wig. But then again, this wig is... straight out the box it seems that when you wear her for a little while and you get the natural oils then she is okay all right so let's comb her over to the side as you saw you can wear her like this classic and beautiful you can Wear her over to this side. And she's already pre-bumped, but if you're not satisfied with how she is, you can bump her yourself. Alright, so what I'm going to do I'm going to do is take my razor comb I really like her on this side though over my eye so what I'm going to do is take my razor comb And simply go to the back like that. And she's still a little too long, so again, I'm gonna just, and I'm not a hairstylist, I just do what I like to do with my wig. You can just. I just razor her opposite side 
that I want to wear her in. And she just falls where I want her to. And that was a simple cut. If there's something hanging over your ear that you don't quite like, you just simply take your scissors and cut it. And then if you like this and you're not sure about it, just tuck it behind your ear like that. Alright, and there you have it, the Fab Fringe Color 1B. She's beautiful, if I must say so. Alright, and this is the Fab Fringe Color 1B. I simply just took a razor comb and gave her a simple little side to the side razor cut and I love how fringy she still is and if you still have some pieces that are too long just go slow if you're gonna cut your wig just go slow this is the fab fringe I purchased yet another wig to compare how long it is and there are different head shapes so the longness in the front may be uh, attributed to if you have a larger head or smaller head but I always like to pull my wig up front it has some play in the top if you notice so just pull your wig up a little more forward if you want her to be more forward in your face and see that just be sure and pull her back to where she needs to be in the back all right well I thank you for watching this video I love y'all and I will talk to y'all later stay tuned for more videos, be sure to thumbs up this video.